Hey y'all, so I apologize for the El Natural look. Um, I am very tired. It's been a long couple of days. I guess it's a couple of days. Um, anyway, a couple of people were asking who were um, near and dear to the whole birthing of Margarita how she was doing. And so I thought I would go ahead and post um, a video. For those of you who don't know, Margarita did not deliver her placenta after the full within that three hour window so i had to have um dr robinson with equine health services out um the following morning early and so we did give her a dose of oxytocin um to induce labor again i know she didn't want to kill us <laughs> like hey i just went through this um and then we I should say we, Dr. Robinson, I only restrained <laughs> Margarita, but um, Dr. Robinson did her thing and was able to get the placenta expelled and then flush out her uterus um, with some betadine solution and then um, also inject a good dose of antibiotics directly into her uterus. And she will also be on... Um, on uh, oral antibiotics, some SMZs, for the next 10 days, as well as low-dose banamine a couple times a day, just to help her with the pain and inflammation and kind of ward off any chance of founder. Um, sometimes that can happen with retained placenta if it's not treated quickly enough, um, typically within an 8-12 to 12 hour window, and then um, go from there. This morning her temp was fine. She's on antibiotics. She got her banamine. Um, she was not happy with um, us checking on baby and doing the umbilical wash, but um, otherwise, she's doing okay. So, all looks well from this standpoint so far. So, I will keep you posted, but I just wanted to let you know um, and update you that yes, Margarita is um, doing okay and looks like she's going to pull through okay. Yes. Good <laughs> 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 <laughs>